Hey guys, welcome back to QB's Barbecue and Bakery. I'm Joris, and today we're going to cook a Greek style pork belly, low and slow, on the big green egg. So, for our pork belly today, I'm going to use a special breed. It is called Liver. It is a typical Dutch bread pig. Uh, it comes from the south of Holland. A um, little bit of history uh, on that breed. Back in the 90s, there was a trend for a much leaner pork in the Netherlands. Uh, it seems nobody seems to care for flavor anymore. Um, and we had these mega stables with hundreds and hundreds of pigs in them. Um, there were a couple of pig farmers that didn't really like that. Um, and they went to Spain to see um, how they did that in Spain, how they herded smaller breeds of pigs on, on, on farms, um, and they got inspired. So back home in Limburg, they sourced the best local breeds and started breeding them at an old abbey in Echt, here in Limburg. Uh, and these pigs, they are being held free range. They are fed the best uh, uh, cereals um, uh, that they grow there locally at the abbey. Um, and they are well taken care of. This is a true cloister pig packed with flavor. That's what we're gonna do to create some great barbecue. So first we remove the meat from the packaging. As you can see, it's a gorgeous piece of pork belly. Now there's a nice thick fat layer on top of this pork belly, but uh, you can see the marbling as well on the other side. So now we have to clean up the floppy bits because they'll burn and that won't taste any nice. So now we are going to carve a diamond pattern into the fat, just to give us a little bit more of surface area. So now we're gonna flip that over to the meat side. As you can see, there's a little bit of silver skin here. Where there's silver skin, we know flavor won't penetrate. So I always make sure to remove the silver skin. Now let's repeat the process and cut a diamond pattern in the meat side just to create more surface area. So what I have here is a pre-made marinade that I made the day before. It consists of a lot of ingredients like oregano, thyme, parsley, black pepper, cinnamon, garlic, onion powder, cumin, paprika powder, coriander, chili flakes and salt, <gasps> catch my breath here, half a cup of olive oil and a tablespoon of honey. And we're going to put that in an IKEA Ziploc bag with the meat. Stir the marinade a little bit. And then put those together and then scrunch them up inside the bag. Make sure you cover the marinade on all sides of the meat. So once you got the marinade on all sides, put it in the fridge for 12 to 14 hours. So we have our overnight marinated pork belly here. This has been in the fridge for I think 13, 14 hours in that lovely marinade that I, uh, that I made last night. That's, we're gonna take that out. Oh, let's take it out in the tin. Uh, I don't want to burn the marinade, so we're going to basically dry it up a bit. Take some towel here, make it a bit dry. But you can see all the flavors that have penetrated the fat and the meat. This is going to taste epic. There we go. So. 
But there's one more thing that I like to do before we put the pork belly on, and that is salt it, specifically on the fat side, because that will help with the rendering and it will create a really nice flavor profile. So for that, I'm using fleur de sel, which is a coarse sea salt, and just sprinkle it on. It's gonna create such a great flavor. And then just pat that in. And now that's ready to be put on the barbecue. So we got our pork belly on the barbecue. Um, I got a complete indirect setup, of course, because low and slow, how else would you barbecue, right? Uh, I'm gonna maintain my temperatures on uh, 100 degrees Celsius on the dome. That is about 210 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, I'm gonna keep it as low as possible because I wanna extend the amount of cooking time as much as we can to get that nice, juicy, succulent, pork belly that's going to be fall apart tender so I think we're going to take about I don't know nine ten hours maybe even eleven we're going to take it easy low and slow just how we like it So it's been about eight hours that we had our Greek pork belly on the green egg. We are still running 100 degrees, phenomenally stable. So let me give you guys a, a peek on where we're at because I think she's done. We're gonna have some great pork belly. So this is our pork belly that's been on the barbecue for a whole day. It's, it looks unbelievable. It, you see the wiggle? That's amazing. So let's see what she looks like from the inside. Uh, oh yeah. That's, that's like butter. And very, very hot. Let's make some thin slices. And now for the reveal. Wow. If you could see this. This is unbelievable. I mean, look at that, right? This is beautiful. Succulent, you see the smoke ring? That is really hot. So next step is make our Greek pita bread sandwich. So we have our freshly baked pita bread. We're gonna put a little bit of lettuce in there. Then some homemade garlic sauce. This is Greek yogurt. My wife makes this, this is killer sauce. It's really good. Some apple cider vinegar in there, some chives, salt and pepper. It's awesome. Then we're gonna put in some red onions. And last but not least, that beautiful slice of pork belly. There we go. So then we end up with this sandwich. Um, I'm dying to give this a try. <laughs> oh man. Wow. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> mm. Mm. 
pork belly is so tender. It's it's so juicy and so delicious. I mean, just look. It is it is dripping. That's how tender it is. It is amazing. It is so beautiful. So that's a success, right? Um, I'm just gonna continue eating with this with my with my lovely ladies at home. Uh, if you like the video, hit the like button. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. Um, if you want the specific details of the recipe, I'll put it in a description box down below. Um, that's it for me. I was this was yours at QB's Barbecue and Bakery. See you guys next time, and don't forget, fail fast, learn fast, just keep grilling.